this video, we are going to walk through some handy tips on column formatting, where we can rearrange the order of the columns, sort them, as well as manipulate the column configuration. For any widget that has a grid-like format, the column chooser or column configuration settings can be found here with the icon. In opening this, a dialog box appears and you have a difference of setting fixed columns and visible columns. The main value in here is that it allows you to fix columns so when you scroll from left to right, those relevant panes can be frozen. For example, here we've got the code description as well as the last. When we go down here to the scroll bar and move it to the right and left, we have the ability to fix the code and last columns. So anything from the right onwards is dynamic. You can repeat this process wherever a column configuration or column chooser symbol is made available. Within viewpoint, you have the ability to sort columns. Let's navigate to the watch list. The first time you click on a column heading, the column will be sorted in ascending order. By clicking on open, you can see this in a visual representation. The column name is then italicized and an arrow pointing up displays next to the column heading, as you can see there with the blue arrow. The second time you do click the same column heading, the column will be sorted in descending order. The column name is also italicized again but this in case, the arrow is pointing down to display right next to the heading. Within Viewpoint, some grid-based widgets, as you can see here, have the ability to configure the table in order for you to show and hide columns. This is indicative by the customized table icon. Let's maximize this widget to take a closer look. By selecting this icon, we have the ability to see what columns are hidden, and which ones are shown. Let's scroll down and select status description. By selecting it, a tick will appear. We can proceed to show this widget by clicking on show. As you can see, by default, it ends at the bottom of the list. We can move this up using the small arrows or alternatively, the move up button. Let's make it appear after the lifetime field. Should there be any fields that we don't want to show, we can scroll down and actually select them. Let's say I want to hide contract size. Press hide. And then it falls within the hidden value column. Once you're happy with the changes, press save changes. As you can see, the status description has now been updated. This can be performed in any other widget, for example, the previous dividends widgets, market activity, and other grid-based widgets. Mm -hmm.